All right, here we go. This is going to be a look at JPW, John Pierre, Michael Wiltsey, Damian Weary, whatever the hell you want to call it. He's got like seven different names. <laughs> so we'll just call him JPW for sure. This is it. This is glory day right here. Ba ba ba. Glorious fucking day right here. JPW, we're doing it. The full uncut of JPW. My personal favorite predator. I don't know if it, not, maybe not everybody knows that or not, but yeah, JPW, my personal favorite predator. The fucking the best one that ever walked <laughs> the earth. Oh man, yeah, just fucking great. You know, I, I was gonna save this for a special occasion, meeting like 20k subscribers. But we're not, I don't know if we're ever going to get there at this fucking point, you know, we're at like around 19,000 right now, and I've got the time to do it right now, so I just want to do it. <laughs> so, but fuck it, this is the 19k special subscriber special right here, so let's just get into it. This is going to be a long one, I'm going to take my time with this, so if you're into, just, just want to see something quick and, and everything like that, uh, you're going to be waiting a long time, because this is going to be... Maybe three or four parts, honestly. I have a lot to say about JPW, honestly. It's this predator that is near and dear in my heart. Um, <laughs> and, it, you know, he has kind of a, a differing opinions about JPW. You know, not everybody thinks that he's uh, a top-tier predator. He's not, he's a guy that I wouldn't, he's not a good starter predator, I will say that. He is a guy that you need to kind of work your way up to the, predator like jpw he's not super like laugh out loud i mean he's laugh out loud funny to me but in terms of like you know the mainstream t capists who get their kicks from the uh you know cute built cute though built good the you want to do it raw you know that kind of stuff clean the special pleasure those lines um jpw might not be the predator for you but in my opinion he's the he's the perfect t cat predator he really is the perfect t cat predator um just everything about him. He's ridiculous. Everything he does about him is ridiculous. His, his appearance, his outfit, his story is ridiculous. You know, he has one of the great backstories of our time, the JPW autobiography that came out, uh, what was it, last summer? <clears throat> the JPW autobiography is a beautiful thing. Um, he's got a great backstory. He's got the longest sentence in TCAF history. I mean, he got... 75 to life, but it got reversed to 50 to life. So he's going to die in prison, this fucking guy. Um, and, and uh, yeah, he's just all around a, a perfect predator. The perfect predator. Let's just get into it, man. Let's go. I fucking love that. Yeah, that. I fucking love that. I do that all the fucking time, too. <laughs> Like, I'll call out to my cats, for instance, because I can't do this to people, because they'll be like, whoa, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? But I do it to my cats. Like, if I'm yelling out to my cats, instead of saying their names, I'll just go, shush! <laughs> but I fucking love I want to do this to, like, call out to people. Like, it just, I want to have, like, a close friend circle group where it's just common and it's, it's, it would be accepted to, to go around greeting each other like, shush! I fucking love that, though. It goes in, shush! <laughs> <laughs> and then he fucking leaves. He goes back to the front of the house, I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> so there he goes. He goes back to like the front of the house, making sure... I think he's like making sure that he's at the right house. Um, he's just like, whoa. Because uh, he's probably... He, he's fucking lost, man. He fucking walked five hours to get to his fucking place. <laughs> so he's fucking out of his mind. He's fucking lost. He's probably been going around to all the houses on this road, just going to their back door. Shush! Is this the right house? Shush! <laughs> so he's going... <laughs> <laughs> so he's going back to the front of the house, making sure that, hey, make sure you, making sure this is the right house, uh, because I don't want to get caught, you know, the last house I went to, I got fucking yelled at, I got, like, fucking food thrown at me or something for going to their back door and going, shush, shush. so I don't want that to happen here, so I'm just gonna go back to the front house, maybe just double check the address one more time, oh man, it's fucking great, <laughs> so he's going back to the front of the house, <laughs> and then, he comes back. Where is he coming? Come on, come back, JPW. Come back. We don't want to lose you, JPW. Oh, <laughs> then he comes back. You out there, man? You out there, man? <laughs> you out there, man? <laughs> oh, man, where did he get that? 
that from? Like, where, where the, how did he start doing that? How, what's the fucking origin of that, man? That is fucking a, the most, one of the most beautiful things, in my, in my opinion. Oh, man, he just goes like, <laughs> you out there, man? <laughs> I fucking, oh, man, I love that so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes in and he nearly breaks the fucking screen door with his fat he goes in fucking gut first into the door. Oh, it is so beautiful. Hey, come on so he nearly breaks the fucking door. It comes in, slides fucking gut first into, <laughs> into the door. And then right away, what is this dude fucking doing, man? Oh, man, what an outfit. What an outfit, man. He's got the backpack on, he's got the oversized headphones, the blue, what is it, like a Henley or something? It's just does not a good look, man. Oh, man, JPW. <laughs> yeah, fucking huge gut. Like, he's an underappreciated uh, fat predator, you know? People don't mention how fat he is. He has fucking got a gut, man. Like, look at that. Holy hell. And what the fuck is this right here? Like, what is this? I have no idea what this is. I've seen this so many fucking times, but I have no idea. I still have no idea what this is that he's wearing around his neck. Someone, if someone knows what the hell it is, please let me know. Because I, I have no fucking clue. Hang on at the counter. So let's get out for a second, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Right and that is fucking scary right there. Fruit. This guy has no fucking he ha he has no problems, man. This guy this guy of course is a repeat offender, fucking creepy bastard. <clears throat> that is one of the most scary things in all of TCAP, in my opinion. Like I love to laugh at JPW, but that is fucking scary right there. He fucking climbs over like the little gate that they got there. He was gonna just run right up the stairs and and maybe tie you know, hold somebody down and forcibly break them. That is scary as fuck. I won't lie about that. That is very scary. Um it, it was it was good that that you know Dateline and T and uh, Perverted Justice got this guy because who knows how many times he's done it. Like I love to laugh at him. And don't get me wrong, I fucking love him. But I also I mean he's a complete asshole scumbag, one of the worst people that they caught on this show. So I mean it's it's it's, it's very good. I'm glad that he was caught and that we can now we can laugh at it. You know because it wouldn't have been funny if if. If he actually had a, another real victim here, I, another real victim. I even though he only went to prison uh, three times before this, um, um, who knows how many times he did it? He he did this and didn't get caught. Um, so that's that's the real scary thing. Hey, sir, sir, can you come back? Del, Del, Del's the decoy in the background, still just rambling. Sorry, the bus took you so long as this guy's fucking climbing over the fence. I love I, I don't like this. I like I mean I love the uncut obviously, but I hate that you don't see him in the other footage you see him like trip over the gate. He almost trips over the gate coming back in. <laughs> that is fucking funny. I imagine he just fucking face plants and boom, he fucking like breaks a fucking few teeth or something. Oh, that would have been so great. Then it'd be like, up oh, next, this potential predator face plants at the sight of Chris Hansen. Like it would have been great. Oh man. Oh. Alright. Yeah, Why are you in such a hurry to get up on the other Oh, nothing. I thought I was looking for somebody. Listen, JPW's got to come up with a story at the top of his head here. He knows, hey, he's got to know, right, that he's going to be fucked, right? Unless he sells it, he is going to be fucked. Uh, so he's got to come up with a story off the top of his head, and he is going to fucking do it. That's all. I'm sorry. And who were you looking for? John Pedersen. John Pedersen. John? So if he's looking for John Pedersen, why is he thinking, hey, was that not John Pedersen? Are you John Pedersen? He should have been. The first question out of his mouth should have been, are you John Pedersen? Where are you, John Pedersen? But no, JPW didn't think that far ahead, obviously. He's just coming up with this on the spot. Um... So, so he just comes up with that, you know, as is. Uh, give me one second, guys. I gotta pull something up. Alright, so I bring, I, I bring this up here because the Pedersen thing, how did he come up with John Pedersen? I want to, I want to know that. John Pedersen, uh, at the time, this guy, Scott Pedersen, was the murderer who was in the news around this time. Um, 
So it's possible that there's some people have theorized that this is how JPW came up with the John Scott Pedersen thing, and he just switched the name, but then forgot about it at the end as he brings up Scott Pedersen. Um, but this is weird because this is Scott Peterson. I would pronounce this Peterson. So it's possible they just kind of switched names to Pedersen, Peterson, because this is how I would spell Pedersen. P-E-D-E-R, like Jock Peterson, the fucking... Uh, but I also, I originally I would have spelt it like Pedersen, like this, like Elias Pedersen, the fucking hockey player. Pedersen, that's, that's Pedersen. This is Peterson. This is Peterson. So I think, honestly, if I'm spelling Pedersen, I'm spelling it like this. I mean, I've seen people spell it. I sometimes spell it like this way, too. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's very open and open to debate how the hell you spell John Pedersen. John Pedersen. John Peterson. John Pedersen. Petter. Petter. I would, I think I, I think I would spell it like this. Uh, maybe not the Swedish way with the two S's at the end, but Pedersen. S-P-E-T-T-E-R-S-O-N. That's how I would spell it, but Pedersen. Maybe it is Pedersen. I don't know. There's a bunch of ways that you can spell that, actually. John Pedersen. John Peterson. John Pedersen. I don't know. That's wild. I don't know. Let's get back into it. Oh, no. Let's get, let's, let, 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 let's just get back into it, man. Harrison. Yeah. And why were you looking for John? Huh? I was going to talk about some business. And what business was that? I'm going to try to do try to find a job somewhere, and I heard about John Pedersen. That's it. J JPW is a very dedicated worker. That <laughs> he's so committed to finding a job that he'll show up. He'll walk five hours. The bus doesn't run. It doesn't matter. He's going to fucking walk five hours to a to a random house. At 11 o'clock at night. That is dedication. If he if he didn't get caught by Dateline, he would have been the best worker that Pedersen Construction ever had. Um, uh, but yeah, it, 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 it's it's absolutely ridiculous by by, J, by JPW. First of all, you come to a job interview looking like this. I mean, that is ridiculous. But maybe it's just a preliminary, you know, formal meet and greet. You know, they've been talking on the phone. It's not an interview yet, not a formal interview. So you, it's just kind of like a meet and greet kind of thing. Hey, John Pedersen is going to help me find a job somewhere. Maybe that's what JPW is. <laughs> Definitely not. JPW is just throwing anything at the wall right now, trying to get himself out of this situation. <laughs> I heard there was a guy named John Pedersen in the area. That's all I know. In the area? In this area. That's all. And why did you come to this house looking for John Pedersen? I had a phone call. A phone call. A phone call. Yeah. From? Um, I, 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 in fact, I don't actually know the guy besides the fact that his name is... <laughs> a JPW. Um, I don't even remember his name. <laughs> JPW can't even give him a fake name. He's like, damn, I already used the name John. Uh, uh, what other names do I know? Uh, 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 no, I can't use John again. Oh, shit. I don't even know his name then. So JPW's like, not a very good thinker on his feet. Um, he came up with John Pedersen out of nowhere. But now he's like asking for another name. Hey, I, oh, I can't give you another name. I don't know any others. <laughs> <clears throat> I have this thing. Where I, um, whenever I have to give, like, a fake name, I use a f name of, like, a, a kid I went to school with <laughs> that I don't like. Um, if I, <laughs> so that, that's something you're like, oh, yeah, if I, if I ever have to give a fake name on the spot, I'll use that name. Just because, eh, fuck it, why not? <laughs> JPW should have had a name like that. Oh, I guess maybe the John Pedersen was the name, so we couldn't think of another one off the top of his head. It was about five hours ago. I've been walking. How far did you walk today? How far did I walk? How far did he walk? Yeah, that's interesting. JPW probably just had his headphones on the entire time looking at map quest directions. Fucking looking at a map. Oh shit, I've been holding it upside down this entire time. Look, oh, now I see where I gotta go. What do you think JPW was listening to on these headphones? That's one of the great unsolved mysteries. That's one of my personal biggest unsolved mysteries of this TCAP shit. You know, what the hell was JPW listening to on those headphones? He's a. I think he's. It, it, is he schi no, he's not schizophrenic. He's uh, got Asperger's. <laughs> so, it, uh, I, I was going to say, if he was schizophrenic, I would just imagine him just listening to fucking, um, just random screaming. You know, just like a five-hour loop of screaming. Uh, maybe. 
<laughs> but I wonder what JPW was listening to. I also wonder, hey, are these even plugged into anything? Like, I don't see any wires or anything. Obviously, I don't think they're... They can't be wireless for 2004. JPW doesn't even have a, a job. I don't think he would have been able to pay for wireless headphones. Um, 2005, actually. It's January of 05. Um, so technically 04, 05. But yeah, um... Do you think he's just walking around trying to be fashionable with them? Or are they connected to, like, an 8-track player or <laughs> something like that? He's got his cassettes, whatever the fuck. I don't even know. Um, yeah, it's fucking crazy, though. What the hell is JPW listening to? That's something I would love to know. What was he listening to on his walk over here? Five-hour-long walk. Man, that is crazy. Where did you come from? Um... Uh... I came from the, uh, from the mall down the, down the road. No. <laughs> where did you come from? I came from the, the mall down the road. Oh, no, JPW. Where did you start? That means, where did you start out tonight, JPW? That's what that means. Where did you start out tonight on your journey? <laughs> no, JPW's just like, I started from the, the road down there. No, that's not what he was asking there, JPW. I also just realized, why the hell does he have a pen? <laughs> A pen in his shirt. Oh yeah, he's very. You know, he's like, I gotta sell the job interview thing. I don't have the, I don't have the uh, clothes going on. I don't have the clothes thing going on for the, for job interview. I don't also own a comb, so I can't comb my hair very nicely. I need to come off as some somewhat of a professional. So I'll just stick a pen in my fucking shirt. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good enough. <laughs> All around, that's what I'm saying. His appearance is a very underrated appearance. You know, I can't say, ah, oh, man, I said, there you go, 1640-something, and uh, I finally said underrated. I can't say he's an underrated predator, because he's not. He's fucking top tier, as top tier as they come. So I just gotta say, oh, very underrated aspect. <laughs> His appearance, it doesn't get brought up very often in terms of the worst predator fashion, but it, it it's fucking up there, man. And he's also got the Jurassic Park uh, safari hat on can't see it he doesn't he didn't walk in the house with it he took it off right before he came into the house but he'll put it on right before he leaves he's got the safari hat on that's another fucking just like what only jpw would 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 walk around with something like that i look at jpw he is very upset right now Ooh. but originally where did you start off from today? i started off in claremont claremont yeah and how far away is that i have no idea i have no idea I took a bus part of the way. And walked the rest. Yeah, I was just walking up the road because I was looking and I was told that, you know, there's a John Pedersen that has a construction company in the area. So you were just walking? <laughs> He's just randomly in the area. Hey, I, I heard about John Pedersen. I'm making my quest to go see John Pedersen and his construction company. JPW, first of all, JPW doesn't look like the type of guy that can do construction. Um, I mean, I... <laughs> He's old, first of all, he's old. Um, but second of all, he's not in the best amount of shape. But he somehow managed to walk as much as he did. Maybe he actually has a lot of strength and just, you know, he doesn't give off that appearance. I don't know. But yeah, JPW, I, I don't know. He doesn't have, doesn't look like he, he would do well in a construction job. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It doesn't look like he's done much manual labor is what I'm trying to say. Down the road, and I he thought that this fellow with a construction company lived in this house. And somebody told me that he lived. Somebody who is somebody? A young man on the phone. A young man on the phone. And how did you reach this young man on the phone? I had, he, he had called me. <laughs> he had called you just out of the blue. No, I think he had my number. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's definitely because I've just listened to this so many times <laughs> that it's like all of a sudden I've listened to it so many times. It's like, damn, his story actually kind of makes sense. <laughs> No, it definitely doesn't make any sense at all, but it's funny as hell, man. JPW story. Just layer after layer. Like, we are just at the first layer here of this crazy fucked up story. It, it's 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 a train wreck. A young man on the phone called you, JPW. Okay. And how did he get you? I don't know how he got my number. I know that, that uh, I've been putting out word that I'm looking for a job. And I was told that John Pedersen lived here, or in this neighborhood. So that's actually not super, not super uncommon to me, at least. When I was looking for uh, a full-time job, 
uh, right out of the blue. I put uh, through Indeed and Monster. Um, you could submit your resume and just have it openly out there, and people, employers would be able to look at them and 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 off and you know set up interviews and shit like that. Um, that's how actually I got. No, no, no. That's not how I got my current job. Um, but that's how I got interviews for some other jobs. Um, so I would just get random. It would literally be. I just get random fucking calls from people like nonstop. I get it. It, it got out of control actually. Um, I got so many fucking random calls out of the blue. Um, I never answered any of them <laughs> because I'm an asshole. I would, these these guys they would call like four fucking time four fucking times in a row at some point. You know, I would get four calls a day from from one number from the same number. Just be like, hey. And then they'd answer, and they'd answer, and send me emails. Horrible. The worst decision I ever made was was doing that because it was just horrible. But yeah, I, I, I've heard of that. It's actually a fucking thing. I don't think it was a thing really at this point in time. And certainly not what JPW was going for at all. But I'm just saying, I've heard of it. It's happened. I've lived it. I've experienced it. It's not super outlandish to have somebody just call you as the blue looking for with a, with a job interview request, you know? But it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely not what JPW was going for. JPW is just like, yeah, uh, he called me out of the blue. I put out words, you know, a few weeks ago that I'm looking for a job. They finally got to my uh, resume that was written on a napkin. And and they said, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll call this John, uh, this JP, Dajan Pierre Weary, Wiltsy, Damien, Michael, whatever the hell his stupid name is. Yeah, we'll call him. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. <laughs> So, all I have is, is I you this. received a call from someone who you didn't know, who I said, know. go to a house where you've no, never I been, I know. to see a man you've never met, I to know. get a job. Okay. Is that correct? And, and also, those calls that I was just talking about, they never they never required going to someone's house at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> so yeah, JP Lung's bullshit. And Chris Hansen just like, making sure I got all this right. You know, you uh, received a call from someone you never met. Go to a place where you've never been, and and for a job interview. J Mike, J J Chris Hansen's like that. That's what you're saying, right? And now JPW's going to try to spin it. He's going to try to spin it. Well, oh, no, when I said to you, stop, I stop. Friend, I'm right? a friend. No, now he has a friend. Okay. Didn't say that before, JPW. He's like, I, I told you, I have a friend. No, you never said that before, JPW. You're just saying that now for the first time. <coughs> Coughing, stall tactic, JPW's just trying to buy as much time as possible. He told me about a guy named John Patterson that lives in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. okay. I had an address. Mm -hmm. I found out where this neighborhood was. I walked. I'm looking for work. I'm looking for work. You couldn't just call. I'm looking for work. So, crazy, insane motherfucker that I am. <laughs> Whenever I play, like, beer pong... I don't play beer pong much these days. I more prefer prefer the uh, the good old timey uh, clean classic fun of cornhole. Um, <laughs> I uh, whenever I make like a landed a shot or hit a shot, you know, I I, I, I that'd be my fucking go to line. I'm just looking for work, <laughs> just to confuse the hell out of everybody. Watch that again. I had an address. I found out where this neighborhood was. I walked. I'm looking for work. I'm looking for work. That's what I would say. Oh, I'm looking for work. I'm just looking for work, man. Just to fucking confuse the hell out of everybody. But man, it would be so funny too. I'd be there cracking up my... <laughs> just me, alone, cracking up. Uh, man, that's great. Yeah, whenever I hit a shot. Yo, looking for work, yo. Just looking for work. Alright, uh, we're 23, 24 minutes in. I'm gonna cut this up. Part 2 coming right up.